Okay, what's up guys? You already know what's happening in this video based on the title, but um, as you can see, I made everyone the greatest free throw shooter of all time. Now, all I had to do was turn everyone's free throw weight to 99, also turn everyone's intangibles to 99. Not a lot of people know what intangibles are. A lot of people think there's a useless stat, but um, some, well, I don't remember who, made a study, well, took a study or something like that, and it actually increases your fourth quarter field goal percentage so it you know makes you clutch basically and i also turned up stamina to 99 because if they get tired maybe their ratings will drop kind of thing and i accidentally turned potential 99 just ignore that it shouldn't really matter too much but i think just make it look funny and cool when all of a sudden like some scrub turns into like a 99 overall but yeah so everyone's ratings are like through the roof and I would have thought that the bad shooters would take a bigger hit than they actually ended up doing. Although, one thing's for sure, LeBron James has become the number one player of all time just based on this rating. Which is actually kind of funny. But, um, yeah. So, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Bye-bye. Guys, I just cut out like eight minutes. Okay, whatever. Steph Curry is shooting... 99%? No, 98%. Same thing. These are MVP. 30 points per game. Let's see how many free throws he missed. Um, he only missed... That's not free throws. Seven. The entire season. If someone only missed seven free throws the entire season, you have to give them an MVP. Not really. That'd be like a Jose Calderon MVP. But, um... Okay, so Ben Simmons is the rookie of the year. No surprise there. 99% of the free throw line. He only missed two. Dang. Blake Griffin is your sixth man of the year. Why not? Andre Drummond, defensive player of the year. Two steals, two blocks, 13 rebounds. 99% of the free throw line. See how many he missed. No, that was pretty good stats. He only missed three. Then there's Aaron Gordon. 21-9 for your most improved player. And Coach the Year, Steve Kerr. All right, now, on NBA first team, Steph Curry, James Harden, LeBron James, Giannis, and Marcus Cousins. Second team is Chris Paul, Kyle Lowry, Anthony Davis, Kawhi Leonard. Why is it 99 overall, dang? He had pretty good stats. He, yeah. And Andre Drummond. Then, third team is DeRozan, Grandpa Russell, Paul George. You guys can pause if you want to see these. But it would take me forever to go all the way through them. I already tried that. <laughs> I dropped my controller there, I think. And... Steph Curry defensively? Okay. And then, as you can see, everyone's ratings are just like juice. Like, Jason Taylor, an 89 overall rookie. And, yeah. So, let's go over to the standings. Not division, conference. I always do that. So, the Raptors are the one seed. Then it's the Celtics, Cavs, Sixers, Pacers, Bucks, blah, 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 blah. I would have thought that the Cavs would have been the one seed for sure. LeBron being able to shoot free throws would be deadly. And he'd be the clutchest player ever. Well, everyone would be clutchest player ever, so I guess that doesn't really matter as much. And Steph Curry is the leading scorer. And there's James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Anthony Davis, and DeMarcus Cousins for their positions. And, yeah. Okay. Alright, now I actually cut off a little bit of the finals, but it... And not the finals playoffs, so it really doesn't matter that much. You already know what's about to happen. Golden State wins with Stephen Curry shooting 55% from three. That's basically all I need to say. Alright, well, I'm out, GTV viewers. Comment down below what do you think I should try to do. Pretty sure the next one I'm just going to do, um, if no one can hit a free throw and no one is clutch, I could do three-pointer, dunking, layups, I can do anything. It's fun. I've, whatever you guys say, I'll do. Bye-bye.